Hello again, welcome. And today we are going to have um, a talk about the Delta IV Phantom Plus and Hexamotion system for tracking and queuing your motion management system. I'm Jeff Spielman. I'm the Director of Sales for the United States. So there's a couple main components of the Delta IV Hexamotion management system. The first one is the Delta IV Phantom Plus, which you see here in the photograph. We actually have over 600 Phantoms placed worldwide with customers. The Delta IV Phantom Plus is a digital Phantom, very stable using diodes. These are long-term stable detectors. There is no relative calibration that is needed. And they stay incredibly stable over the course of their life. The diodes are positioned internal of the phantom and they are on a sagittal and a coronal plane. The measurement is at isocenter in most cases. Uh, depending upon how you position the phantom. And at the center 10 by 10 region, there are five millimeter spacing. And outside of that 10 by 10 region, they are 10 millimeter spacing. The photographs that you currently see on your screen shows the positioning of the diodes and the boards internal of the phantom. Also in the lower right hand corner is an image from an Accuray Rad Exact system with KV imaging that actually you can clearly see the diodes inside of the phantom and you can see their spacing. So hopefully my cursor is showing you these diodes. The second piece of the motion management system is the Hexamotion. The Hexamotion is a platform that is used to cradle the Delta IV Phantom Plus and actually move the Phantom six dimensionally, allowing you to move your tumor and track it during your QA process. So the Hexamotion 6D motion management system allows you to move the tumor specific to the patient's treatment plan and specific to the 4D CT image set that you would have obtained to actually show the motion of the tumor. It's very fast in positioning with submillimeter accuracy. As I've stated, it does move in six dimensions and it can move in very large movement ranges. Um, and some of the testing that has been done with the system has been done with running the motion over very long periods of times, hours on end um, during these studies. So what do you need to validate a motion? Well, first of all, you need a phantom that's gonna track and give you the ability to see the radiation being delivered to a target, a 4D image set so that you can create a motion field, a device that's gonna move the phantom six dimensionally, um, the uh, ability to track breathing separately, and then you want fast and accurate results. And last, you'd like it really easy to, to use and easy to use software. And I'll show you this. So the Scandidose Phantom Plus along with the Hexamotion platform, it is a premium solution for a full evaluation of your patient's motion during treatment. Below are a couple of images showing the Hexamotion and the Phantom Plus being used in an Accuray system. These are on Accuray's Rad Exact system with Synchrony software. 
Um, something to, to note about this is that um, this system is used um, specifically for each patient's QA. So everything that you do can be specialized per each treatment delivery and verified for each patient. Um, the platform allows you to use um, realistic plans and show full range of motion within those plans being delivered. Again, just some additional imagery to see how it fits on a table and even fit within a bore situation. And I just want to point out, although this is being shown on Accuray's RAD Exact system, this can be used on any LINAC, um, including things like Halcyon. Uh, cannot be used in MR as the hexamotion itself is not designed for MR. Although we make phantoms for MR, the hexamotion is not designed for MR motion studies. This is a setup within Accuray's RADXACT system. And I just want to point out something that I stated before that, that sets uh, the Delta IV product aside from anything else in the market, is that we actually can do up to 8D setup for the synchrony software on RAD Exact. And that allows the six degrees of motion for the Phantom Plus on the uh, Hexamotion system, as well as an additional stage that allows you to track a breathing motion. And what you see here uh, to help you understand that is uh, the two dots on the platform on the additional stage will simply go up and down to represent the chest wall of the patient or the abdomen of the patient moving during normal breathing during treatment. And they can track the breathing motion separate from the tumor motion. And that's exactly what's being shown here in this photograph. This is futuristic for Accuray, um, but the technology already exists for them to, to do this. How this all works within the uh, each patient is you'll see here on the screen, this is a screenshot from the Accuray system. And what it is showing you is the Delta IV Phantom Plus Phantom, along with an Accuray ball cube insert. With our system and the diodes being um, positioned at the coronal and sagittal planes, internal and at isocenter of the phantom, it allows for inserts like this one, the ball cube, to be uh, inserted into the upper left hand quadrant of the phantom. And what this is showing is where they're actually going to start um, a patient QA and they're using the KV imaging just to position the phantom on the couch. Here is a photograph of that ball cube uh, that is offered by Accuray, and then photographs of how the ball cube actually fits into the phantom. And when the ball cube is not being used, there's just an acrylic uh, replacement for it so that it stays a solid, uh, PMMA material uh, when this phantom is not being used for a motion study. And let me also point that out is that if you have the phantom plus, it doesn't have to only be used for motion management and it doesn't only have to be used on Accuray. It can be used on any of your Linux and uh, products within your department. So it's a multiple tool uh, across the line for all of your treatment devices. Next is a sliced image showing that ball cube, our diode planes, and just being positioned uh, for treatment or for QA in this case. Next is, uh, again, the software panel from the Accuracy Synchrony tracking the ball cube. 
here's an image after it's been positioned. And again, uh, I'm gonna reference, you can actually see the diodes with their KV imaging through the acrylic material. Uh, the circle with the plus is actually the tumor that they're going to be tracking. What they have going on uh, on their screen is, is of course something that they would present to you, but it is something where they are tracking the phase motion of the tumor with the phase of the breathing and uh, they will account for that in their treatment so that they're able to, to track the tumor which we're showing on the screen here um, along with the motion that's being provided by the hexamotion system. Again, same thing we talked about. Here's a real short video of just how the breathing works. Very accurate, very um, either very small stepping or it can go very large range as well if you have a large breathing pattern to show. Last, I'd like to point out, this is uh, the Delta Force software that would come with the Phantom for the uh, Accurate system. And the next four, uh, slides are just showing what is achieved by motion and compensation for motion, and then the ability of our system to track it and um, give you the results. In the first pane in the upper uh, left hand uh, of the slide, in the two black windows are the sagittal and coronal views of the ball cube that was irradiated and tracked. And this is a static result. So there was no motion applied, no compensation applied. And there's a three millimeter, uh, a 3% three, three millimeter pass rate for this plan. And what they're basically doing is saying, okay, I positioned it, I treated it or, or irradiated it. And then I wanna see, okay, did it actually show up exactly where it should? And it did, and it did. So the next pane in the lower right hand side is with motion and with no compensation. And then you can see the gamma pass rate for this was at 5% four millimeter because there was motion, but they're not compensating for the motion. And of course it, it created a larger uh, PTV to be able to cover that whole area. So again, we're showing that we can track it with no motion. We're tracking it with motion, but it's not as good because we're not compensating for the motion. Then uh, in the next pane, which is the upper left, we are showing motion with compensation. And again, when you use motion with compensation, we're showing that that gamma pass rate again is 3% throughout three millimeter. And it looks exactly the same as when there was no motion. Then what they did in the lower lower um, right again is they took the motion versus the static, um, as I just described, and showed that the overlap is virtually identical. And it has that same gamma pass rate of 3% three millimeters. So we can move the phantom according to a, a, a 4D image set, uh, track the motion of a tumor according as it, it's happening within the human body. And then if you have a treatment delivery system that can deliver a plan with motion, uh, this is these are the perfect tools for studying it. <clears throat> At this point, I'd like to thank you for listening. I'd like to answer any questions that may be out there. And um, I'd also like to direct you to uh, that there will be an upcoming presentation on Hexamotion and Phantom Plus from one of our users, Lee Goddard from uh, Montefiore Medical in um, the Bronx, New York. And this presentation will be coming up on November 12th at 7 a.m. Eastern time. And to find out more information about this, if you visit our website at delta4family.com, you will find uh, the link 
to register for this Hexamotion Phantom Plus presentation, as well as you'll find other videos uh, and presentations uh, given over the course of the last few years. And of course, all of our products, brochures, and literature is, are on there as well. And again, don't forget to visit us at the Astro booth. And at this time, I'd like to open it up to any questions that uh, that you may have. Okay, there, there's one here. And I was asked as, can you use an existing phantom with Hexamotion? And the answer is, yes, you can. Hexamotion is designed for and is set up to connect to the Phantom Plus, but we have had customers um, around the world design platforms to be able to set their Phantom or even uh, body anatomy Phantoms uh, on a Hexamotion and be able to move it. So there is flexibility with that. The next question is, is it difficult to operate the system? Um, no, no, it's not. The, um, the Phantom Plus itself, once the treatment plan has been created and transferred over to the uh, Delta Force software, um, you load the software for that particular patient and the Phantom itself sits there in a ready state until you're ready to deliver a plan to it. Um, it has an auto start feature and it waits for the first dose pulse from the Linac. So the Phantom Plus itself is incredibly easy to use and you get uh, instant readout uh, verification of the plan delivered. And that would be simply with a, a, a red or green circle. Green is pass, red is fail. And then for the Hexamotion, um, once the uh, plan is created uh, using your 4D image set, uh, the Hexamotion and you load that patient plan within the Hexamotion for movement, that actually sits there and just waits for a start stop uh, button. So after, actually after it's set up, you load the, the plan that's gonna be uh, delivered and that sits and waits and the Hexamotion is just waiting for a start stop. So um, very easy to use uh, and very user-friendly. Thank you and have a good day.